Welcome back to my 13 defense series on my pure Iron Man account while I'm bald. Because, uh, I'm bald. If this is your first time visiting the series, let me catch you up a little bit. We've gotten a couple pets on the account. We've gotten a lot of PVM items already. Most of our best in slots have been achieved, but we're not quite done yet. We've gone dry in a couple places, but we've gotten pretty damn lucky in a couple others. On screen now is the current goal list for the account. I've made quite a few adjustments to this since the last episode. We have added on all of the new wilderness upgrades that will be coming out in the update this week. I also have the Light Bearer and the Xerite Crossbow added to this list. So I'm super excited to start next this episode. I've never done it before on a pure, let alone the pure Iron Man. So Spoon is going to spoon, you know what I mean? Maybe we'll be on that list. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Thank you so much for all the support in the last episode. Let's get right into it. So I think it's about time that we try to get ourselves the frozen key for next. We're at the point of our account where it's kind of the next step. So we're going to try to go to Bandos first. Uh, I marked a couple tiles. Shout out to Saibin, one of the original Iron Pures. He has a pretty sick guide on flicking for an hour straight at Bandos. So I just copied his tile markers and... I'm gonna try to flick, I think, if it starts to get sketch. Obviously, I'm really just here for one kill, but obviously I'd like to come back at some point and uh, go for the Bandos Hilt. So I'm gonna just flick for this first one. If it doesn't go good, then I'm just gonna pray range and say fuck the minion and hopefully get a fast kill. All right, that should be the kill right there. Beautiful. All right, first KC at Bandos. I kind of cba with <laughs> flicking right now i just need the one kill that way we can just get the key piece i really want to go to next tonight so off to zami we go please god we have so much better supplies this time i'm just asking for the thrall to do the thing come on just one more please thank god dude zami was by far the worst it was so much worse than bandos give me this stupid key piece I don't know if I'm going to include all my deaths in here. It will probably be here for an hour. I think I died at least 10 or 15 times. No BS. <laughs> Come on, baby. What we have is the one left. That should be it. Let's go. We just had the one Phoenix Neck left and one brew. We're just spamming. So that is our frozen key obtained. So we can go to next tonight. Um, that is really not that bad of a grind. I mean, Zami really sucked, but <laughs> Arma and Bandos weren't too bad. All right, this should be our first KC. Oh, I... I am not good at this follow stall. Um, I'm sure by the end of the night I'll have this down a little bit better, but thank you so much to Antagonist who were on Pip for basically letting me come along and just be dead weight in a cough tank. <laughs> All right, having one extra person in here felt so much better than a four man. Uh, like I said, I still really do not know. I've not done next since release. I understand like masses are not the same as small teams, so I still have a lot to learn. I don't think I'm going to show any of these full kills until I actually know what I'm doing, so I don't look like a fucking idiot. Ooh, Dragon Bolt, that's nice. That's the first ones on the account. I still have not gone to Muspa, so we'll be able to stack up a good, a good amount, I'm sure. What? Oh my, okay. I knew that was coming at some point. <laughs> the nil shards, um, that pop-up didn't feel very good. <laughs> Thought I was just straight spoonaged. Ayo, there's our ancient ceremonial legs. That's the first piece we got out of the set. These things look fucking dope, by the way. Love the look on them. Come on, baby. I actually did pretty good supply-wise. Dude, no shot! Dude, Char Select pulling the Zerai Van Braces, baby. Let's go. Dude, he already has the ZCB on his pure iron. Oh my god, that's insane. Dude, that'll be a decent split too. I think it was only three of us on that. Four, maybe? Oh, let's go. Congrats, man. That's so awesome. Yes, we got the mask. This thing looks sick, by the way. I mean, just look at that. God, the fashion scape is real. I don't think I'll ever wear it anywhere, but it just looks so fresh. Oh shit! Yo, there's a Torvo full helm, no way. I'm in like a 15 man FFA right now. That is awesome. Congrats that guy. Oh my god, there's a horn. 
Oh, and it wasn't even for the MVP to get sniped. What the hell? Oh my god. That's insane. Holy shit, it's coming, boys. Um, hello, we're up here thumbnail ganging and we pulled the <laughs> ancient ceremonial mask again. This thing looks so sick. Every time I get it, I'm just gonna flex it off. I mean, look at this thing. Oh, and if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. I mean, we're trying to hit 20k by the middle of the year would be awesome. So, thank you all so much for the continued support. Really appreciate you guys. Oh, dude, there's another one. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's wild. It's the second horn I've seen. Oh my god, there's a pet! <laughs> Holy shit! So, congrats. I'm currently in uh, Tommy on Twitch. I'm just in one of his masses right now. That's so insane. Congrats, so. Fuck yeah, kick his ass! I'm all the way in the back, bro. Ran out of supplies. There is 100 kill count at next. Uh, honestly, a good bit of this, over half of it is from small teams. Um, I've only really seen drops in masses, though. Kind of whack, but it's fine. Oh shit, Van versus baby, let's go. Grats antagonist. That's his first item. Uh, doing an Iron Pure uh, mass right now. And, well, we invited a couple other accounts and antagonist has not had a drop here. I think he's over like 160 kills or some, something around there. And they've all been small teams. I don't think he does really any masses, so big G's, man. What the fuck? Double magic seed drop. We love that. Except we have like 50 mil farming banked. Oh fuck yeah boys. Let's go. What is it with me pulling all these Tanzanite fangs now man? It took what? 970 kills to get the blowpipe? And now we have just gotten two in the past 200 kills or something like that. That is another 20k scales. That is just all we needed, man. Let's just pull up that drop log real quick. Like, what do we have from here? Yeah, three zero. I think my last drops, the last three have all been Tanzanites, but whatever, free scales. A granite mall? Dude, I just kicked Rick Turpin dick in the- So we finally got blessed with another Abbey Demon task. We have 238 on task, and for those of you that don't know, it has been a couple months since I've been to Abyssal Sire, probably four or five months. We are at 470 kills with two unsireds, and we got a jar and the Abbey Dagger. Uh, the Abbey Dagger actually wasn't that bad for us to get because we used it until we were able to get the Fang at uh, TOA. So... We just need to get these bludgeon pieces, and then we're going to learn how to do Fasani's Nightmare. So, that's kind of what's holding us back right now. Let's get this thing. So, since the last time I came to Abyssal Sire, we've had some upgrades. We now have the Asmumpton's Fang, and, well, that's pretty much it. It's so OP here, it just ignores basically the defense to every monster in the game. And Abyssal Sire is one of them where it's pretty high defense. Previously, I would only bring a DWH and just try to land a spec. And then just hope for Ruby Bolt procs and Diamond Bolt procs. I'm going to show you guys the method I use to kill Abyssal Sire. It's been in the game for a long time. And some of you may think it's like exploiting, but Jagex knows about it and it's still in the game. So it's called the Logout Method. Basically what we're going to do, we're going to kill the respiratory systems as per usual. We're going to go into the first phase, we're going to drop the DWH spec. If we land it, great. If not, it's no big deal because we have the defense ignorer anyway, the Asmumpton's Fang. After we kill, after we get it down to 200 HP, it's going to go into the middle. It's going to spawn a couple of spawns and we'll take care of them pretty quickly. When we get finished with them, it's where the ACB comes into effect. Same with right now. I could bring like a mage switch instead. But using the ACB, we could stay pretty far away from Sire and still do our damage down to 140 health when we get teleported into the middle of the room 
where it basically opens up the inside of it and it explodes. When it does that, you would normally take a bunch of damage if you don't get away from it. And it spawns a bunch of the Scions and they do a bunch of damage to low level accounts. So low defense, you're going to get absolutely destroyed. So I'm going to show you guys how we combat this. Like I said, this method has been in the game for quite a while. Just going to drop our DWH spike. We hit. And now we're just going to two to one this. I'm going to attack twice with a five tick cycle weapon. I should be able to get a second attack here without getting hit. Now this time I'm going to attack once and then walk under on the third cycle and then we'll attack twice and then walk under again. Get it to 200 health, goes to the middle. Normally that phase would have taken a lot longer just with an ACB. So we're going to go all the way back here to the back. We're going to wait for these spawns to align and we're just going to sling some blood barrages at them. You really don't need Mystic Might, it's just out of habit I toss it on. So we finish him pretty quickly. We're going to toss on Eagle Eye. We're going to have to dodge these poison spawns on the ground. We're going to not like that. That was not, that's not how it's done. <laughs> so we're going to get it to 140 health and we're going to get teleported into the middle. We're going to have a log out screen ready to roll. Because when we get teleported in, we're going to log out. By logging out, when it spawns these spawns and scions, they're going to be aggro to you, but they can't attack you because you logged out. So when we log back in, oh my god, this cord's in the way. They're going to be de-aggroed when you log in. So if you ever see like other low-level accounts or other mains, even if they're doing this method, you'll see in the chat box as somebody else is fighting the Abyssal Sire, they're doing this method. Um, like I said... It's been in the game for quite a while. Jagex is aware of it and they don't have any intention of changing it. So we're going to log in and attack. Now these are going to be de-aggroed. We're going to have a spawn of poison on the ground. You just got to be ready to move and then put on protect for range. And they'll start attacking you. Now if you can't kill this fast enough before these spawns grow into scions, you're going to be in some trouble. As they will do a bunch of damage. Um, if you don't have a fang, you could just stay with your ACB and you could just attack. It's normally five attacks. So that or an RCB, I believe it's five attacks, but you can re log out and do that all over again. So if you're ready for the log out and you see a poison spawn underneath you, you can log out right away and you basically do it all over again. Just one attack cycle less the next time. So if you're not doing enough damage there, you can do that. So that's the method I use for Abyssal Sire. I figured I would just toss this all into one video here. Uh, you guys seem to like the longer video, so we're just going to recycle this again. We are currently 477 kill count with two unsireds. So maybe we'll finish the bludgeon in this big 231 task. Well, but it appears that we're not going to get any drops at Sire today. So we have done 100 kills so far of our task in <laughs> just a couple hours. So we're going to go send some chambers with the boys in the CC. If you guys would like to do some team raids, feel free to join the clan chat. Purely bald, and we'll get you into the baldies. Currently 33 people in here, and the clan is growing really fast. 245. I feel like not too long ago it was at like 150. So thank you to everybody that has joined the clan. And um, yeah, the Discord is always linked in the description down below. We are now 571 kills at the Abyssal Sire, still with two unsireds. Without one bludgeon piece, I can't wait to get our third on side and then just pull another fucking whip. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're going chambers. All right, that's going to be kill number 100. Uh, chambers is Eric. We are now triple digits, and it has been a very, very long time since we've seen anything. Uh, 23 torsos there, and we have 808 saltpeter. Not going to do too much for us. For those of you that do not know our log, we basically are working on our Geo <laughs> Geodude Locked Iron Man. Just need some more dense bulwarks, we'll be able to cover our whole body with them. Oh dude, the dry streak is done. That's our first inside since 249 kill count. Let's go open this thing, man. Let me leave the clan real quick, and we're gonna open it. All we have so far is the jar of miasma, and we got an abyssal dagger. 
at 249 kill count. Hopefully, we get a bludgeon piece. Alright, come on, baby. Come on. Let's pull it. Yes, let's go. Bludgeon Claw. One out of three. Maybe we could turn this around and just pull the whole damn thing in this task. Alright, let's go. We're going right back. This is going to be kill number 600 at the Sire. We are half of the drop drop rate for unsired um that is a body talisman man dude no shot <laughs> dude it's like 14 kills later we literally just pulled a body talisman last kill let's go man let's see if we can pull it off let's see if we can get another bludgeon piece here come on baby all right if this is another bludgeon piece i'm gonna be through the roof Oh my god! Yo, we are about to pull this whole bludgeon in this one task alone. I swear on it, let's go. It'll make this whole dry streak worth it. No way, no way. We just pulled another Unsired. Dude, it's like 30 kills apart. Um, are we about to pull some spooned RS Chronicles shit and just pull off the whole bludgeon in, what, 60 kills? There's no shot. Zero to Hero, Abyssal Sire version. Let's go. Could this be the storyline? <laughs> oh my god. Yo, we just pulled the whole bludgeon in like 60 kills when we went... 570, what was it, 580 something kills with two unsireds with a jar and a dagger. No shot! Yo, we're going to Fosani Nightmare tonight on the Pure Iron. Never done it before, but we're going tonight. It's time to make the bludgeon, baby, let's go! I left the CC for all of these unsireds. It's probably my favorite part, so none of you guys that are in there know that I have this thing, and I'm gonna keep it hush. I think I'll probably post something in like the Iron Pure Discord and on Twitter. So if you want early spoilers, I do occasionally post stuff on my Twitter. I'll link it down in the comments below or description down below. But there is the Abyssal Bludgeon. 10.7 mil. That is really cheap. I don't know why it's that cheap, but I guess it's really not that great of an item. But for an Iron Man though, that opens up for Sonny Nightmare. And we're going to go and figure it out. Dude, what the hell? I came here for one kill to get my kill count so I could do Fasani. And this dude pulled a nightmare staff. Oh my god, there's only six of us in there. I mean, just get the drop. That's, that's kind of what it is. Just get get the drop. Don't complain about RNG. Just fucking get it. Well, I watched a total of a 10-minute guide. Uh, I've never done Fasani's before on any account. I figured instead of trying to learn on another account where I would give myself a false expectation for... Speed time, or like kill times, DPS, I figure we might as well just go on here. Uh, and we're just going to figure it out. So, this is our current gear setup. We have the DWH, we have our full vestment with the brimstone ring. I have the Book of the Dead equipped. I will need it for thralls anyway, so I can bring an extra food having this. Um, I just followed a gear setup that was linked in a Discord. Um, I feel like I will probably need another sand view, but I don't know. So... This is kind of what we're rolling with. I guess we'll figure it out. Join me on this painstaking process of learning Fosani for the first ever time and really not watching any content or guides before. So here we go. Oh my God, dude, I have nowhere to go. Nope, uh, yeah, we're, uh, fuck, yawn. Yawn, yeah, yawn. What, dude, I clicked. Okay. I know about this corner now. Oh, but yeah, I'm a bot. Yeah, yawn, yawn. All right, this corner is the play. We're gonna hug this corner till the dawn of time. All right. What? No, I was too early. Okay, we'll just wait a second. Wait, there's one more. Okay, we're fine. Oh, we're not fine. <laughs> I didn't get yawn this time, so whatever. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, dude, no, I'm yawned. Why did- <laughs> I'm an idiot, yawn! 
Do you hold the phone? We're about to make it to the final fa Wait, I didn't kill the par- uh oh. Uh, well, we just need to focus on this first, and then we can deal with the parasite afterwards. Alright, let's go. Our first time making it to the final phase, baby. Alright, um, I know it's just a DPS check, you just run into- Okay. Can I just corner this the whole time? Um, I think I can. I might lose DPS doing this though, so I don't really know. Ah, that's not good. As long as there's no mushrooms and we don't start yawning. Alright, 90 HP. We can do this. Um, I'm just gonna be brew the hell down the whole time. Come on, Thrall, baby. We're fine. Okay, I guess I get special attack. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. This is fine. Everything is fine. It's not fine anymore. <laughs> we're out of supplies. Come on, 66 damage. We can do this? I don't think we can do this. I can't hit, please, no. <laughs> we were so close. Oh, I'm so garbage. This is the one. We are not failing this time. Um, I might fail this time. No, we won't. Look at us. We're doing it. We're doing the thing. 41 HP, baby, come on. Oh my god. God, I'm going to cry. What was that pathing? Please, please, for the love of God, this is the one we did it. Let's go. I sat in just straight up dead quiet. First kill count for 41 rubies at the Fasani's Nightmare. This feels like CG all over again learning this, but what? It took us two hours for our first KC. I don't think it's that bad, right? Maybe uh, we're, we're shit. All right, let's do this. Get the DWH spec right off the break. I just took a 57. Oh my god. How am I alive? What is this? How am I alive? How? Dude, only has 25 HP left. Come on. <gasps> Dude, what? This is a trap, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I did not deserve that kill at all. Four... Emeralds. Yeah, two kill count. <laughs> this is so much fun, man. I feel like this is so masochistic. Oh, Jesus. Congrats on the relic, man. That's awesome. Um, meanwhile... I'm being very selfish trying to get hits on that thing from the outside of this. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Let me know down in the comments below. Also, just toss your fucking asterisk yawn. Dude, that's a honker of a spec. Oh, God. It started so great, and it just so quickly flipped. We're fine, though. We're fine here. I don't know if it's better for us just to stay on the corners or not, or if we just run around in circles. But I'm gonna keep running around in circles because this is what I know. Oh my god, I have no HP. Please, just a 17. I know I'm brewed down, but like, whatever. Oh my god. Whew. I need better DPS on this last phase, man. This is getting too damn close. 3kc, new PB. I don't know what a good time is for me, but 1231. That's where we're at. Big spec, another 49 off the break. Let's go. I think I'm going to start trying to just use the corner when I can. And maybe this will be the play. I don't know. Dude, it already only has 12 HP left. I had a super slow first phase. I had like two parasites heal this bitch so much. Come on, baby. Early spoonage. Cat and teens. I don't need these, but that's fine. Four kill count. 
We're starting to feel comfortable with this man. Well, not comfortable, but like I'm learning. All right, five kill count. Ooh, must resist the urge. Sam no, I won't do that anymore. That's kind of cringe. A lot of people get really upset when I scream Sanfu Serum. That is five kill count and our PB we shave like another minute off, man. Look at those supplies. Oh no. Oh no. Why am I trying to attack that one over there? Dude, that's so stupid. That's so stupid. It was so greedy. It was selfish. It was a deserved death. I need to not... <sighs> Regain. I'm an idiot and I did not have Camtasia open. So there is kill count number six. We got Sarah Brews. We're still doing pretty good. I had no supplies. I got wrecked. Dude, this has been my best kill so far. Not even close. So we're going to attack the three sleepwalkers and then we're going to melee this one. And congrats to Yemen for 45 mil range. Also, this man just got his Tob cape. The 2K KC cape. What a demon, bro. Much love to my homie. Billy, you're a goat. Now, let's see if we can clutch this thing and get for sure our new PB time. Just for you and your 45 mil range. Let's go. Um, I really need to try to go get claws, man. I think I'm going to be doing a lot of chambers in the future to speed this up. I... That was really risky to run across there. <gasps> oh, thank God. This is for sure our PB, dude. That was a really good time. 10.49. That's so much better. We're getting good at this, and we're just not even going to scream the, the drop. We're not going to do it. Uh, I don't know what a good time is for my gear, but that felt really clean. I just shaved off like another minute or 45 seconds or something like that off that one. Let's go, man. I'm so hyped we're doing this. Thank you so much, sire. That's gonna be nine kill count. Four soul runes. This is not good. Um, I learned about redemption, so we're gonna use redemption because it doesn't attack with anything else and that just kind of shows the progression of not being a noob here. Let's go. No brews left, no food left, but we have the redemption. 10 KC. And I think that's where we're going to leave off for Fasani for this video, at least. Oh, that felt so good, man. All right, should be another kill. I know I just said that I wasn't going to come back and do another one and that I was going to be done. But here we are. That's another kill. This is just like CG, man. It feels like it. Where you get into a rhythm, you get it down. It's a super long time investment, but it's fun. Dude, I'm enjoying this. Alright guys, so I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. As you see to my left, the Venonata Spiderling looks different now. The Wilderness Rework has come out, and I've not partaked in it yet. And it's time that we partake in it. Since we got the bludgeon the way that we did, I felt like it was only necessary that we went and experienced Fasani Nightmare for the first time. And safe to say, I really enjoyed it. It's a very long time investment. Uh, since it is such a long time investment, I think it's worth it for us to get some upgrades before we go back. Um... Obviously, I'll sprinkle in some kills here and there in the future, but the Wilderness Rework came out. The Void Waker is in the game, and it is going to be my best-in-slot DPS prior to Claws for that final phase of Fasani, and I don't even know what damage it'll do to the Obelisks, but I bet you it would, like, pretty much one to two hit the Obelisks. So being able to have that, and if we go and get the Light Bearer, oh my god, we could be in for some serious DPS there and really shrink down our kill times. Um, I also thought about it, I can't even use this sleepy tablet if I get it because I don't have the Draken's Medallion, because I don't have a Taste of Hope or whatever the quest is to unlock that, I can't do it. So uh, we're in for basically a minute and a half, two minute runs every single kill, and if we fail a kill, you know, it's kind of a waste of 10 to 15 minutes really to and from. So... I think we need to get some upgrades before we go back. Obviously, getting the Abyssal Bludgeon the way that we did was absolutely awesome. It was, God, it was so cool to get a drop like that. Uh, I felt like the RNG has kind of been zapped up since we went to revs on here. been pretty dry. So, it's really nice to pull some drops finally. In the next episode, we are going to dive just straight into the Wilderness Bosses. We are going to go to the new Venonatus, new Callisto, new Vedion, And we're going to try to upgrade our already Vigorous Chain Mace and Crossbow. We don't have the Theremin Scepter yet, but we're going to try to go for that. But most importantly, we want the Void Waker pieces. That's going to be our biggest upgrades. And while we do that, my buddy Dirty Mikes, he was able to get his Bofa in full crystal. 
So I think we're going to be able to do some more TOA in a more relaxed session in our experts. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you all so much for all your support. I really appreciate it. You guys have been absolutely crushing it. Let's jam out this from Forlorn Homestead. I'm going to try to keep these episodes between the 25 to 40 minute mark. You guys seem to enjoy the longer episodes. So uh, let's see if we can do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Thank you.